Welcome back, I'm Dylan with Beamer Tech and on today's video we're going to be showing you the difference between an E-Net and a DCAN coding cable and which one you're going to need for your Beamer Tech remote coding session. If you're watching this, you probably know what a Beamer Tech remote coding session is all about. Either way, here's a brief explanation. A Beamer Tech remote coding session involves hooking up your laptop to your BMW Mini or Supra and allowing our technician to take connection of your laptop remotely to change the parameters of your vehicle. And that part about connecting? That is what this video is all about. There are two types of coding cables that we offer, a DCAN coding cable and an ENET coding cable. Our DCAN cable has a USB connector at one end and the OBD2 port is clear. Our ENET coding cable has an Ethernet port on one end and the OBD2 port on the other end is red. If you have one of our old ENET coding cables, those are blue, but they're gonna work just as well. The clear DCAN cable will be used only on E-Series BMWs and R-Series Minis. Being that it has a USB connector at the end, it can be plugged directly in a laptop if your laptop has a USB-A port. If it does not, you can always get an appropriate adapter for your laptop. An important note for these cables is you must use a Windows laptop. Using a DCAN cable on a Mac or Linux OS will unfortunately not work. The red ENET cable will be used only for F and G series BMWs. Since most modern laptops don't usually have an Ethernet port, you can find an appropriate Ethernet to USB adapter on our website. We offer both Ethernet to USB A and USB C. Now that you know about the coding cables, let's give you a brief rundown about how to actually connect them. Now, for this, I have a Windows laptop with an Ethernet port and a 2015 F30. This being an F-Series BMW, I'm going to have an E-Net coding cable. And the biggest thing to remember is when to plug in your coding cable. We have a full video on the remote coding process, but the basic gist of it is do not plug in your coding cable until your technician tells you to do so. Once the connection is established with your technician and you begin chatting, he will give you the green light on when to plug it in. Now, once he does, here's the process. First, take your coding cable and plug that into your laptop. If you're using an adapter, plug it into the adapter first and then the adapter into the laptop. And then confirm that you're in a well-ventilated area. Chess, can you confirm we're in a well-ventilated area? We are in a well-ventilated area. And then you are going to start your BMW. Only then can you plug in your OBD2 cable. Now your OBD2 cable is gonna go in your OBD2 port, which the location and orientation of it might differ depending on which BMW you have, but it's always gonna be on your driver's side near the sidewall underneath your steering wheel. Now if you have a right-hand drive BMW, well, it's gonna be on that side. And that's it, easy. In the event your technician says he's not getting a good connection, first thing to do is make sure that your coding cable is plugged in firmly on both ends. Now, if your technician still says he's not getting a good connection and you're using an adapter, well, try that adapter in a different USB port. If you're still not getting a good connection, you might need to look into replacing your adapter but also make sure you're using the correct coding cable, which leads me to my next point. While we do allow you to use your own coding cable, you need to make sure you have the right one. So if you have any doubts at all, we strongly encourage you to order one from us when you get your remote coding session, so that way we can be sure we send you out the correct one. There are plenty of combinations that will allow your coding session to not work, such as using an E-Net when you need a DCAN or vice versa. Another issue we run into a lot are people using coding cables from the wrong vehicle brand. A popular one is Volkswagen. And while that cable might fit, it's not going to make a connection. So you know that old saying, make sure you have the right tool for the job? Well, the same applies here. To sum it up, there are two main coding cables for a Beamer Tech remote coding session for a BMW Mini or Supra, and you need to make sure you have the right one before your session starts to make sure the coding is carried out flawlessly. To learn more about a Beamer Tech remote coding session, click the link in the description. We hope you found this video helpful. For more tips and tricks, product reviews, and so much more for BMWs, Minis, and Supras, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell. And hey, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok as well. Thanks for watching.